Okay, our next step is to put the weld nut on. And what this does is it holds this other bulkhead onto the, the eBay once we all slide it together. Um, test fit this disc, the A1, A2 disc, onto the board. Uh, mine got a little bit tight there, probably because there's a thin film of glue on there. Um, so I'm just going to sand that off real quick. Okay, just like that. See, that's much better. It's just slipping right off. Um, test fit it, that on there, and then take the weld nut and test fit it into the hole. Um, if you don't have that on there, the, this weld nut might not center up correctly. So that's why we want to test fit. And I'm going to take some thick super glue. Um, you can use gel super glue too here. And I'm just going to put it on the weld nut like that. Stick it in the hole. Make sure no glue comes out that end. And while it's still wet, again, double check it. Make sure that it slides easily into the hole right here. Just like that. Okay, that was simple. So I'm just going to let that cure. And I got some uh, accelerator, and this is called InstaSet. And spraying that on there makes it harden a little bit faster. So I'm just going to do that. Um, our next step after that is to uh, thread the holes in the sled. And for this, you're going to need a 4-40 tap. Uh, that's what I have here. Um, you don't have to thread all the holes. You only need to thread the holes that for your altimeter that you're using. Uh, if you're using the Perfect Flight Stratologer CF, it's the outside holes. And if it's the Easy Mini, it'll be the inside holes. And if you have a different altimeter that's different hole position, but that will still fit on the board in that location, uh, you may need to drill your own holes. Um, so I'm going to use the strato logger, so I need, I got a couple of little discs here in the hole, so I'm going to pop those out. And threading the holes is pretty easy. You just take the thread, or the tap, and screw it into the holes. And you can use your fingers for this. See how nice and easy that goes in? Go all the way down to the where the threads stop on the tap and back it out. Just do all four holes. Okay, this is the last hole, and if you want to test them, you can take one of the little nylon screws, just like that right there, and you can just test fit in that into the hole, just screw it down, make sure it goes in. If it works, you're golden. Okay, so the next time, in the next video, we're going to install the switch that goes onto the board.